flow now, ooh. To the flow now, ooh. Ooh. This ain't Texas. Ain't no holding. So lay our thoughts down, 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 down. So fuck your legs. And throw your keys. Hey besties, it's your girl Kelly Nairi and we are back with another video. As y'all can tell by the caption and the thumbnail, we are going to be doing some self-care slash hygiene shopping in Sephora. Super excited to go ahead and get in there and see some stuff. I, there's literally one thing that I know for a fact that I wanted to get out of there. Hopefully it is in there. If not, then we're going to have to slide to the hair store or Ulta. I don't know, but I'm planning on doing some self-care stuff at home like today is like monday and i really don't feel like it's monday y'all like i really feel like it's the weekend still probably is given a sunday so anyways yeah um make sure y'all are subscribed if you're not a bestie all you have to do is click the subscribe button press the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss another, another <laughs> so you don't miss another video from me and that's how you become a bestie but if you are a returning bestie thank you so much for stopping by showing love if you are a person that watches my videos and you are not subscribed you are not helping me get to my goal my goal is to get to 10k before the end of this year guys and i know y'all love me because y'all keep coming back and watching and i can see that i really need y'all to hit that subscribe button so we can get to our goal okay babes anyways y'all let's go ahead and get into it so as you can see <laughs> we made it in the store honestly like i said i'm probably gonna go straight to what it is that i'm looking for right now um i did see a few other things that i was looking at and hopefully they have they do have the eye cream so i'm gonna get this eye cream because i've been meaning to get this eye cream And the eye cream that I'm talking about is the creamy eye treatment um, that has avocado in this. It's supposed to um, like clear up your under eyes and stuff or around your eyes. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but like around my eyes is usually like red, like for no reason. Like, girl, red and puffy. Um, I haven't started doing it, but I'm just going to start doing like an icing treatment in the morning or at night, depending on which... I had whichever I had like enough time for so I would do that and yeah anyways let me show y'all what I'm talking about so y'all can see so this is the results like you can see that it's not as red as it was before and it's more tight in that area so that's really what I'm going for I'm trying not to get to a point where like I want to use like fillers and stuff underneath my eyes because that's really it's, it's gonna help but it's really not gonna help the color like discoloration and so that's really what this is supposed to help with and that's what I'm trying to do because listen your girl don't wear makeup every day and I'm not trying to become one of those makeup girlies where I'm wearing makeup all the freaking time like that's really not me but I need to get me a bag real quick I don't know if this is somebody's bag that was sitting there. I can use this. Oh, yeah, you can use it. Nobody was okay. Okay. But yeah, y'all, I need to. I'm probably gonna go. It's more so probably in the makeup area. Hmm. Do you guys have anything like individual like lashes that you can put on? You do? Okay. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so <laughs> I'm kind of in the area where they have, like, the lashes and stuff. Um, I see, like, full lashes, but I want to try to put them on my still, like, individual lashes. I'm trying to see if they have any. <laughs> they don't have any individuals, so, yeah, I'm probably going to have to hit up the store, like, the hair store or something. 
they have individual lashes there so <sighs> that's not what I wanted I wonder why they don't have the orange um oh they do have the ever so fresh here yeah they do this one I smelled this at um Ulta and I was blown away I was like oh my god it smells so good and I had to choose between that and Burberry her goddess they might have the goddess over there honestly and these are the prices right here so the one ounce is 95 the 2.5 ounce is 139 and the 4.2 is 174 but I tell you that smells so good and then another one is these so the fresh pop I actually have this and I paired that with the 62 like the uh, so de janeiro 62 those together that combo is so good and then um this love pop smells so good i didn't get that one because i tried to the last time and they didn't have any more but i'm gonna see if they got the um they got the burberry goddess over here so this is the burberry goddess and this smells amazing like i really really love this scent so these are the prices right here. So the one ounce is 105, and then the 1.6 ounce is 135, and the 3.3 ounce is 168. But yeah, yeah. When I tell y'all, I was at um, where was I at? Oh yeah, Ulta. I was at Ulta, and I was smelling those, and I was like, yeah, those two are definitely giving summer. I remember I was telling y'all like I was trying to get my summer perfume collection together those should be in your collection for sure but um for those that have dry skin and is also dealing with eczema let me tell you something this right here not the cream where oh i thought this was the mask i'm tripping where's the oatmeal mask mm, i don't see it over here let me see you i don't see it down there either but they have an oatmeal mask and it's so good yeah and then this is the cream this is not even the mask oh boy but anyways they have an oatmeal mask and it's so hydrating like super hydrating like they got strabectin in here oh they got exfoliating pads too multi-acid blend of aha bha this is kind of like how dr dennis gross is but theirs is cheaper so it's 45 dollars. like dr dennis gross is crazy or gross why do i keep calling him that anyways it's 88 dollars for the their like little peel and it's good though i ain't gonna lie to y'all like i've been using this for a few years and as far as texture like it gets all of the texture and stuff out of my skin oh the niche got something new let's see what it is oh we got a it's a sleep mask it says after four weeks of use 93% of the girls agree that their skin feels firmer. Bouncy and firm sleeping mask. It plumps, hydrates, and glows your skin. I have tried their products before when it came to stuff like that. And I'm not going to say it didn't work. But I wasn't consistent. So. That's partially my fault. But it, the scent is peony. And I really just, I don't like that smell. Like, that scent is, it just does too much for me. Because we just was over here. But the Jimmy Choo, I feel like they just got these over here. I was looking for, looking over here. And I think they just got these over here. So, let's go ahead and smell those. So, this is the Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever scent. And this doesn't come off, by the way. Oh, that smells so good. That reminds me of that Valentino perfume that I ended up getting for Christmas. Oh, that smells, this smells good. No lie. And it's a warm floral, so you already know. Y'all know I'm a floral girl, so I love scents like this. This smells so freaking good. I might end up giving getting the travel spray instead of the bigger bottle just because yeah just because I'm not ready for that 
I'm trying to, I tell my friend, I'm like, I'm trying not to spend money because I'm trying to save money for my trip. But it's like going to these stores, I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend money. But anyways, this is the Jimmy Choo. I want you the, I guess, regular one. And that scent smells good, but it's not giving the forever. And I kind of feel like it's a little more intense. The forever is more intense than this one. And I feel like this bottle is so cute. Like, I feel like this would be so cute on my stand. But yeah, I'm getting the other one. The other one is definitely a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. It's giving date night. That's what that scent is giving. And I feel like that's really good for that so I'm gonna get the travel spray um and then let's see what else do we have over here and a lot of times like they don't be coming in the travel sprays and I want to see if the Burberry goddess has one in a travel spray I really wish they had this um daisy ever so fresh in a travel spray we'll see if this is it I can't tell which one this is. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I can't okay, so tell you, which you one. You don't like this. Just because it's a few. black one. Alrighty, thank you. We're gonna see. We're gonna see which one this is. Because if it is the ever so fresh one, then I'm gonna get this one too. Because their travel sprays are like only thirty six dollars. I feel like it is because it looks the exact same. But we're gonna see. And I know this is not a tester, y'all. Don't don't be me yet. Okay, so we're trying to see if these are the same scents, and I don't think it is. I don't think it is. If it is, I'm not that impressed. And I think it's because I smelled that Jimmy Choo one. Um, I don't think they're the same though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they're not, that's not. That's not that smell. That smells so dang good, but it's $95. And I'm not trying to go there. I'm gonna see if they have the Burberry Goddess in like the travel. And if not, then we're off of it. I wanna smell the Chloe scents though. Cause look, I've seen the girls saying that they're good and they're warm florals. I just don't like the powdery florals. I just don't like the powdery scents. Okay, this is the Chloe Lou de, de Parfum Luminous. Luminous or something, I don't know. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I feel like this is new. This smells good, though. I actually like this scent. Oh, that has a fruity floral in here. I don't know. Like, have y'all ever tried this... This spray over here, like how long does it normally last? I don't remember seeing this a lot, honestly. But there was a scent that I was gonna purchase up here, like the little travel sprays. And there is one that smells so good by way. I feel like this is something that you would put on like after the shower or something, you know, especially if it's like time for you to go to bed. Yeah. But I need to smell it one more time. Because it was one that was used up that the girls love. And I think it was Melrose Place. I don't know. But we gonna see. Because this is the Melrose Place one. They need, they, they need to... Cause there's really nothing. And then this is North Bondi. The other one is gone. Yeah, 
I didn't really like North Bondi that bad. I liked the, you know, it was all right. But I really didn't like it that bad. Not as bad as I like the Melrose. And honestly, y'all know I don't like a rose scent, but the Melrose actually smelled good. So. Y'all about to be so mad at me. But this was the one that I liked. And it does smell like rose, but it's not like too, it's not bad. It's more like a floral scent. And I like it. Like, I actually like it. So, yeah. I'm going to get this. And like I said, it's only $26. I don't know how long it actually stays on, but this, I'm telling y'all right now, is so freaking girly. And it's so summertime. Like, that's what it's giving me, like a summertime scent. You know, but anyways, they have like this hair gloss and I feel like it is new and it helps to treat damage on your hair. This is what I'm talking about right here, this hair gloss, but I use silk oil like on my hair. So I don't know. I don't feel like I really need that, but they don't have the stuff that I'm looking for. Like it's just the makeup and I don't see the cream that I'm looking for. <sighs> And I actually have this one, the Translucent Honey, the Ultra Blur, and that is so good. Um, it helps with shine control, and it has hyaluronic acid. So, yeah, you already know how I feel about that. I did used to use this Translucent Honey one, the regular one, but yeah. And the reason why I ended up messing with um, Laura Mercier anyway, because of my girl, Leah J, she basically was like, this is a good setting powder because there's no flashback and stuff like that and it's so cool that it actually has that on there to let y'all know like girl listen there's no flashback I actually have a pressed setting powder and I'm not I don't know I feel like I like the fact that and I might end up getting something like this and it's talcum free so you already know how I feel about that but it's $52 and I feel like you can take this along with you um you know, and it should have like a powder puff with this because my problem be like when I'm out and I got my makeup on, I want a little touch up, but I can't like get it because I don't have my little puff, but they actually have like some little puffs over here. Look, the Velcro puff and it's $18, but it's so big. And I remember with the minis, like there was a small little puff, little brush. So I might actually end up getting like little small um, things. You know what I'm talking about? So Luminous Perfecting Pressed Powder, Real Flawless. But does it come with a puffer in there? And would it say it on there? I don't know. But I kind of want to open it and see I ain't gonna cap. But wouldn't it be in the inside? Okay, so there was another brand that I was thinking about trying, and it's Milk. And like I said, they are like pretty much skincare with makeup, like infused together. Okay, but I keep trying to get to this, and I can never get to it because it's always gone every time I come in here. And I'm probably gonna have to ask them, like, listen, baby, when do y'all restock? Like, let me in on the seat. Really want to try their um, primer. And I really kind of want to see what this is giving. Like this refreshing spray. Kind of want to see. I kind of want to see. So it's saying it's a hydro grip set plus a refreshing spray in here. So grip set plus a refresh spray. A shot of blue aguave extracts from an invisible layer to grip and set makeup all day. Have a derived cannabis sea extract, aloe, and hyaluronic acid. Help to hydrate and refresh for blissed out skin. Oils from hemp. Yeah, so I feel like it's a two in one, is it? We'll see. Okay, just one thing in there. But I'm guessing that it's saying that these is together like all together so it's the grip primer 
and then it's the spray mix them together i don't know i don't know y'all but i kind of i wanted to try the primer and the primer itself is 34 dollars, like the big one and then they have the little one that's 20 dollars. but as you can see it's actually gone so i'm probably i don't know i, I really want to try this spray though okay y'all so this is saying that i have no more storage because <laughs> i ended up changing it and using a different sd card and it has a smaller amount of storage on there and i forgot that i recorded two other videos on there so yeah that's pretty sad anywho um like i said this one is 38 and it is super super hydrating however i already have a primer that's kind of like this which is the um i think it was the elf grip hydrating primer so i'm gonna try this later but i do still want to get this spray i'm not gonna lie and it is hydrating and it's something to have when you're traveling um just for like a refresher if you will so yeah i'm um i'm gonna get this because it does have aloe and hyaluronic acid and stuff in there too so yeah, it says shake to mix and to activate formula. Use as a setting spray to lock in your look after your makeup application. And then you can reapply for instant refresh and boots of hydration. And I really love that for me because, yeah. Ooh. I don't know why it's not focusing on the products. I'm using my iPhone, so yeah. But I'm going to get this. So... This is what I got, and like I said, I'm going to end up going to um, the store to get something else because, or going to the hair store to get some lashes. Either that, or I know Ulta Beauty be having stuff like that too, so it depends on which one is closer, but let me tell y'all something. NARS is really that one. When it comes to concealer, I love NARS so bad. This is the kind that I use like for my skin tone, so it's the caramel warm deep and yeah i don't know like they never let me down and i think theirs is how much is it the radiant creamy concealer oh 32 dollars but the light reflecting foundation i don't i never used their foundation before but they're saying that that's that would be my color in their foundation i've used the makeup forever hd's foundation so yeah I'll be trying to experiment with new stuff because like I'll use the same products over and over again and then they got new stuff out so like why not try it but I digress anyways let me get up out of here guys I hope y'all like this video make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and press the bell next to subscribe button so you didn't miss another video from me oh one other thing I wanted to show y'all too was this creaseless concealer I know y'all into the shape tape but this creaseless concealer is literally that one because it has Maraduca oil in there and for me like I said I do have dry skin so I feel like that's so good and I end up using the tan wherever that's at yeah so I use this for highlighting my skin it's so good so it's 40 in and tan so yeah bye